How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we're going to be taking a look at every car guy's dream and that is building up their car to the point to where it can kill supercars. Today we pulled a handful of races from JDM Overnight. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that but JDM Overnight posts a lot of good ass races. So we're going to take a look at a few here. He's very cool. If you guys want to see more races like this, go give him a follow. Let him know that I sent you. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look. Most of these are imports or just cars in general versus some supercars, but not all of them. Let's go ahead and start with this first one. We have an Audi RS3 Stage 2 E85 versus a Audi R8 V10. We got Audi on Audi action right here. Place your bets down in the comments. If you get all of them right, you get a cookie, a virtual cookie. I cannot send everyone a cookie because you guys are pretty damn smart and you guys really know, you know, what's going to win and what's going to lose. Anyways, I'm going to place my money. We got a stock ass Audi R8 or an RS3. Damn, this is a hard one. I feel like I've seen this RS3 gap a lot of shit, so I'm going to go ahead and bet on this RS3. Let's take a look. One, two, three. <laughs> Yeah, it seems that Audi R8 didn't really stand a chance. That RS3 seems to fucking fly. Once it starts going, it ain't stopping. It's trucking on like a train. That Audi R8, man, that, I'm telling you, that was my first, like, real dream supercar, I guess, if you want to call it that. It was my dream, like, damn, if I buy a supercar, I'm going to buy an Audi R8. I think it's now moved on. I don't think I really want an Audi R8 anymore after seeing this race. Uh, this isn't good promotional video for Audis unless you want the RS3 because this RS3 apparently can fucking fly compared to that R8. Anyways, I, well, I was right this time. Let me know if you guys were right down in the comments. Let's move on to the next race. Next race is a 700 horsepower McLaren 570S versus the 800 horsepower C7 Z06 Corvette. Z06s are quick, man. They're aerodynamic. They they fucking fly. An 800 horsepower is no light shit. Now, a 700 horsepower McLaren, a lighter car, probably a more aerodynamic car. I mean, damn. Uh, this is going to be a tough one. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to look at the comments or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead and say horsepower wins. Let's take a look. No replacement for displacement. Let's take a look. So I think I was wrong. It seems like the McLaren maybe got him by a little bit. It's hard to tell from this angle, but it seems like it was flying a little bit faster. Those McLarens are no joke. 570s. I've seen those things fucking rocket ship down the highway. I was really expecting the Corvette to hold its own, and it did for the most part, but you just can't beat those supercars, man. The way that they shift, everything about them, the aerodynamics and the engineering that went into them. It's just unbelievable what you can do nowadays. Looks like it was very close, but I'm going to pause it. And if you look, it looks like the McLaren is maybe half a car ahead, if that. But for sure, a very close race. I'm one and one. Let me know if you guys got that one correct. Moving on to the next race, we have a bolt-on in tuned 6.0 GTO stock photo right here versus a 399 wheel horsepower. You might as well have just said 400. 399 wheel horsepower, 384 wheel torque. That's pretty good. Ford Focus ST GT3071 on E30. All right. Well, this is uh, going to be a pretty good race, I think. I feel like the, I mean, these GTOs, man, they, they are just torque monsters bolt-on and tuned versus i i would hope the gto wins i don't know we got we got some some domestic action going on i'm gonna bet gto let's take a look Well, I was right about one thing. The GTO is a torque monster. It got the hard launch right there, and I thought it was going to be able to hang ahead, but turbos, man, they just spool in the upper RPMs, and a naturally aspirated engine just can't keep up with it. That's why a lot of people love freaking turbos, and I'll tell you what, having one of my Supra, it is way better. It is a lot more fun, in my opinion, than most superchargers. I've had a, a twin screw, I've had a centrifugal. And the turbo, man, when it starts spooling, it just it feels like nothing else. And I used to be a big supercharger guy, but 
turbos, man. They're super fun. And it just goes to show, man, <laughs> you can't beat turbos, especially if you're NA. Good shit. The ST flew past him and said a little bye-bye as he was doing it. And I don't blame him. It's a good dub. Moving on to the next race, we have a Turbo LS Fox body. That is a freak of nature car right there versus Full Bolton RS3 on a tire. I'm just going to go ahead and vote for the Mustang. I, I feel like Turbo LS Fox body, that thing has got to be pretty quick. Now, if this RS3 takes it out, I'm going to be very, I'm going to be very, very depressed. I feel like the Fox body should be able to hold its own. I mean, the Turbo LS, I mean, look at that whole wheel setup. That thing better be fast. I'll tell you what, I got it correct, but I was a bit nervous, man. Once that RS3 started to go, it was flying, man. I feel like there's a little bit more going on on those RS3s, or I'm, I'm just downplaying them. I don't know, maybe they're really special and I just don't know shit about them, but that thing is absolutely killer. The RS3, man, who would have guessed it? I'm not a huge Audi guy, so I don't know everything about every Audi ever created, but that RS3, man, that is for sure a very badass car. To be able to keep up like that and be able to just hook and go... It's crazy. I mean, just it squats and it just fucking goes. Very good race. The Fox body does hold on to the dub. I mean, with a wheel setup like that, I'm pretty sure most of us bet on the Fox body. But the RS3 wasn't too far back. Maybe a couple cars, but still a very cool dig race. Dig racing is some ballsy shit, man. That's how you break parts, but really nice shit. Anyways, next race is a 550 wheel horsepower, 550 wheel torque SR20 S15 versus... A Huracan stock photo, so probably a stock Huracan. This is going to be a close race. I could just tell. Huracans move, man. They move. When my Mustang had 500 horsepower, I went out with a couple of them, and they fucking move. 550 now might be a little bit of a different story. And if he has rolling anti, like, I mean, who knows? Who knows what this guy's got? But 550, 553, it's, it's going to be a close race. I'm going to say that the SR20, S15 is probably going to get it, but I could be wrong. Let's take a look. I hate this camera angle already. All right, let's see. Well, this camera angle really doesn't show who wins. It, it's a shitty camera angle. I hate when the races are filmed like this, but it is what it is. From what I can see, Maybe the S15 got him by like half a car. Maybe it just it just looks like that the Lambo let off a little bit earlier, but who knows? I really can't tell. It was a close race. It seems I was at least right about that part, but you can't tell who won. And maybe the comments will say, not not much. Damn, paying that much to get beat by a Nissan. Okay, uh, you know what? These comments are the dumbest shit ever because when you think about it, this car wasn't designed for straight line speed. It's like when everyone sees me race my buddy's Lambo and like. I beat it. It's like, dude, th that car on a track would just fucking cream my shit. Anyways, it was a close race. Can't tell. Next race is a 2.7 EcoBoost with an A2W intercooler, catalyst downpipes, tuned on E85 Ford F150. An EcoBoost F150. You usually don't see that. Versus a ported intake RTR full exhaust, 93 tune Boltons 5.0. This is a weird race. This is a funky ass race. We have an EcoBoost F-150 versus a 5.0. I mean, I would hope that the 5.0 wins, but I mean, this guy's tuned on E85. Tuned on E85 with turbos does a hell of a lot more than E85 naturally aspirated. This guy is on 93, but I don't know. 93? Ugh, this thing can't be making that much. This thing's got to be making like 400 a wheel. I, I'm, I'm going to bet EcoBoost. EcoBoost all the way. Let's take a look. Okay, this last camera angle has to be the dumbest. I mean, it's a cool camera angle. I thought it was a GoPro at first, but it has to be the stupidest idea ever. Hey, buddy, just hop in the, the bed of the truck and record it. He's not even recording the car, first of all. And second of all, if something bad happens, 
you just killed your friend. Anyways, it was a close race. It seems like the Mustang did get got by the EcoBoost F-150. This comment saying that, that the, the fucking EcoBoost probably tripled the PSI, but that's what happens when you're tuned on E85. That's just what happens. So he's not really lying about what he said You know he was making. Obviously, they're not going to say horsepower, but EcoBoost, single cab, short bed, it's probably not that much heavier than a fucking 5.0. 5.0s are heavy cars. The new ones are ridiculously heavy. They're becoming almost damn near Challenger and Charger. Wait, okay, I don't think they're that close, but they're heavy cars. And a tuned EcoBoost on E85, I mean... You kind of had it coming. E85 and turbos or a supercharger is just the magic combination. E85 and naturally aspirated is just a waste of time. Moving on. Next race is a full bolt-on and a BNR S4 93 with meth MS3 versus a full bolt-on S197 50. 400 horsepower versus 430 horsepower. What are you guys betting on? I think the MS3 is going to launch a lot harder, but I don't know. We're going to have to see. Ready? One, two, three! Both recordings kind of suck. If I'd watched these prior to recording, I probably wouldn't have included them, but that would be cheating and then I would find out who would win and my whole betting scheme, w it wouldn't count. Anyways, I was correct. The MS3 did just pull ahead right away. That's what happens, man. Those Mazda Speed 3s, when they're tuned and shit, they just fly. Full bolts on Coyotes are no joke, but it's a Gen 1. It's not really going to do too much. And I mean, it's just got a lot of torque. It has no top end. It's a good car. Don't get me wrong. Coyotes are great, but first gen eh i mean it's not the best thing ever when you got when you're putting that against a turbo car you got to be at least cammed or something to compete if you're keeping it na that is of course last race is an audi r8 v10 plus exhaust only versus a single turbo b5 s4 on medium boost let's take a look I thought for once we were going to see the supercar win. I was like, he's doing it. He's actually doing it. He's pulling ahead. He didn't waste his money. Nope. He got beat. He took the L. That Audi R8 though, man, that thing sounds fucking amazing. That's a good sounding car. That V10, it really screams and it just, it sounds beautiful. It's nice and, and that exhaust that he has on it sounds really toned and it's, it's tamed. It doesn't sound just like it's just loud. It's just not screaming and making a lot of noise. It sounds very nice. Now getting beat by an old S4... That's got to be a little bit embarrassing, man. That's 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 got to be a little uh, quick reality check when it comes to your car, man. When when you're out there racing in Mexico and this little S4 pulls up on you, think twice. If if he has the balls to pull up on you, he's probably got something nice and meaty underneath the hood, and he and he's not gonna fucking let you catch him slipping. Sleepers, man, they're the best. I fucking love them, man. I I I'm I'm slowly. You'll see. I'm gonna do something with the Mustang. You guys will see. Anyways, I don't want to reveal that. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. Go check out JDM Overnight if you guys want to see more races. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. Mustang is uh, going into the shop within the next couple weeks. We have a new plan. I'll talk about that in a later video. Anyways, until next video, peace.